Hey there, my YouTube friends. <clears throat> Thanks for stopping by my channel. I'm doing a short review of a hotel I checked in today in uh, the Philippines in August of uh, 2023. And the hotel is called Amahan, and it's in um, Boho in the area of um, Pangola uh, and uh, the, fam the world famous Alona Beach. Um, I booked this on Amazon and I booked this on uh, Amazon and Expedia, uh, I think under $52 a night, uh, breakfast not included. Really beautiful room, king size bed, um, TV, safe, air conditioner, um, refrigerator and balcony overlooking the pool, really nice. And there is a sister hotel with a cut through and uh, it's more expensive over there exactly, actually. And it's the same owner and they said I can go over there and um, swim in their pool. Um, and it looked really good. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw up some slide pictures, maybe some video as well. Um, it's a really nice hotel. It's uh, about a seven minute walk to the beach. Um, it is through some, um, like the back of houses. So the, the walkway is a little bit unstable. There's rocks and debris and, uh, but there's just the back of people's houses and they're very friendly, it's safe. But it's like a six, uh, six, seven minute walk depending uh, on your own speed. Uh, and then it drops you off like right there in a, in a 200 yard area of all restaurants and bars and small mom and pop restaurants and hotels. And um, there's a lot of stray dogs over there, but they're pretty harmless. The water today was very um, cloudy um, because there's been several storms, but today was a beautiful day. <clears throat> I say in the mid eighties. So I'm gonna explore, I just got here for the first time. Uh, for somebody that's checking in with this channel, I'm a first time vlogger um, and a first time to Philippines, but I've been to over 30 countries uh, in the last 20 years. So I'm a veteran traveler uh, and I'm pretty good with cameras. Uh, I'm shooting on a, a GoPro knockoff called a, a, a Caso, <clears throat> one of the newer ones. Um, other than that, um, they have a pool table. I'm gonna pan around me. Um, it's really old, it's like a tiki hut most of it and it's really like Hawaiian or uh, Polynesian themed it's pretty cool and I'll pan around and um, you could take a look for yourselves guys there's the bar behind me you know not the biggest selection of um, wines and alcohol but I'm sure they're gonna have most of what you guys want you can see here reminds me a little bit of like Dominican Republic but they have, uh, instead of wood, they're using like a framed iron. Pretty cool, and there's a pool table. That's the pool, it goes up to five and a half feet deep. Right now, it's, half of it's in the shade, which is awesome. And if you go through that walkway over there, there's this place where you can go to another hotel, and it's a more luxurious pool. And they also have some areas for little children to play with toys, like Tonka trucks, and like a pool of, balls, little plastic balls and jump in there. And um, well, that's it for now. It's just a pretty good spot. Rest your head. Like I said, it's, um, I think it was under $52. And I booked it on Expedia. And um, I arrived by um, ferry from Cebu Port Terminal 1. It took a two hour um, fast boat called Ocean Jet. And I paid 900 pesos for that. That was two hours and it arrived like right on the money, two hours exactly. It wasn't full. <clears throat> it's a ship that's to hold probably 150 passengers. It lets you off at this dock at the pier here in Tag Balerian on Boho Island. And you get bombarded. I'm gonna throw some uh, video on it. You get bombarded by all these people. They give you inflated prices. And the further you ignore them and walk away from the pier and the boat, the lower the lower the price gets, starting at 800, 600, 500, 400. And I finally met a nice guy out. Uh, I, I also wanted to go and get a cold beer because they didn't sell beer on the boat. So I wanted to get a cold beer for the ride because I know the ride by tricycle is about 
20 minutes. So I went and got cold beer, and there was a guy outside the store, and we, we, we chit-chatted a little bit, and he gave me a 400 pesos um, price. And he was with his wife, actually. And she was playing um, love songs <laughs> from the 70s, like Barry White, <laughs> these two Filipinos. I was like, oh, you guys are still in love, huh? And she had a Bluetooth speaker hooked up to this little tricycle. And, uh, and he, he, he was a quiet type, you know, but she was very talkative and um, she had, she was the navigator of the two. He was the driver, she was the navigator, and she had um, a WISE app or a Google app and we showed where the route was to this hotel. And she asked me where I was from and, um, you know, why am I alone here and all this. So, um, you know, about the nuances of um, this city and um, they dropped me off perfectly fine. We passed by the airport, um, you know, and um, they have limited service at that airport. I don't, I don't think they go to Manila and a few other huge cities. They don't go to, they don't fly to Cebu, I don't believe, or Dumaguete. They fly to um, different places. Um, yeah, so the trikes, you're not going to encounter much cabs on this island. They're mostly trikes, so it's a scooter that has like two small seats in the front and two seats in the back or nothing you know for a little bit of like a backpack two backpacks or a bag and um and like i said it, it don't go fast it don't go more than 20 miles an hour so it takes with that in mind it takes um you know like 20 minutes 25 minutes to get here um other than that the, the these little side roads they, they just they come into these little properties, and this property is pretty ex extensive, you know. My room is 21, so they must have about 30 rooms here, and probably the same <clears throat> at the sister uh, property next door, same owner. Um, but that was built after this one, so that's more luxurious. Um, and that's it for information-wise. I just got a nice cold San Miguel, and um, just having a nice drink. I gotta find out where I'm going tonight. I like to hang out at a sports bar. I just found out that the hurricane in Florida just hit uh, the west side, the west coast. Because <clears throat> most of you know I live in Fl South Florida on the east coast. I was just checking the news. Pretty much devastating um, at the 31st of August. So I hope you all guys are well. My whole purpose is to try to um, uh, motivate you guys and um, give you some information, some tidbits, prices, how long things take so you could feel more secure about traveling to, uh, to the Philippines. Pretty cool place. Um, and we have a laugh or two along the way. So if you like the content, if you're here this long, please um, like, subscribe, <clears throat> hit the share button. That always helps pass along if you have some friends or friends that live in the Philippines and just like this, hear about someone um, talk and brag about how wonderful it is. You can share it and uh, hit the little bell. I'm gonna try to put out, I'm here three weeks, so, uh, total but I'm here already a week. I'm going to try to put out um, as many videos as I can um, when I can. Alright guys so good luck. Have a great night.